In this video, we're going to take a look at complex navigation in JSF. That is, how can we press submit or press some kind of button and have a Java class actually do some decision logic, and then based on that decision logic, we'll decide where we want to go next. So the syntax that we're going to need is we're going to need something like a command link or a command button. But instead of a static action, we're going to have syntax like this, where we say action equals object name dot method name. What's very important is the object name has to be a managed bean, the method name needs to be a public method, and the important thing is that method name, or that method that we're calling, has to return a string. That string is going to come back to our navigation rule, and it's going to determine where we go next. So I'm going to hop over to the virtual machine, and in our previous video, we had our action always go to search. Here we're going to change that to a managed bean hash symbol open curly, and we're going to say, uh, I already have, well, let's see, I already have that class name plant search. So let's say uh, search plants. I hate using a name so similar, but oh well. Search plants.execute. Okay. And so that's going to look for a managed bean called search plants, and it's going to look for an execute method. So we need to make that. So I save. And now in my UI package, I'm going to right click and say new, and we're going to say class. And for the class, we need to make sure that the name matches up as we'd like. So search plants. Now remember, when we use that named annotation, what it's going to do is create an object or essentially a variable with a name similar to this, but lowercase the first letter, which is how search plants matches up to this search plants uh, item that we have here, the search plants name that we have here. Everything else looks good, so I choose finish. And in search plants, I'm going to make a, uh, I need to add my annotations here, so named, and then managed bean. And then uh, once again, scope, we really could just do request on this one, I think, but let's just say session for the moment. So session in quotes, control shift O, and we'll go through our normal series of uh, faces, that's fine. And oops, scope should be capital S. And save. And control shift O. And spring framework scope is fine. Okay, and now we need to make a method that returns a string. And it's called execute. Okay. Now, I'm just going to make some dummy data for the moment. Uh, so at the moment we'll just say return search. We just want to make sure that it works as we think it's going to work. And then I save. Okay. So uh, we'll do a build here. Right click run as. And then uh, Maven, uh, Maven install. And we'll give that just a moment. And it ends up that I used the wrong import on my managed bean. So I went ahead and changed it to Java X annotation managed bean. Rerun. Uh, everything looks good. Probably safest to go ahead and restart the server in debug mode. So we'll restart. Give it just a moment here. And then we're going to try our navigation again. Okay, we'll take a moment to restart there. I can go ahead and hit the page, and it will wait until the server comes up to render the page. Okay, just like that, the server's up. I'm going to type in redbud. And we're not hoping for anything major here. We just want to make sure that it still works as it has before. So I choose Submit, and we see that it still works as it did before our managed bean. So how do we know that that managed bean actually worked, though? How do we know it's not just using an old cache copy of what we did before? Well, I did start it in debugging, and the nice thing about that, and the nice thing about having Tomcat integration in Eclipse, is that I can just snap the breakpoint here, turn the server on in debug mode, and it will go ahead and debug through this class. So uh, I've started it in debug mode, so we will go ahead and hit submit again. And then we see Eclipse is flashing in orange, so click on uh, the icon on the start bar is. So select that, choose yes, and sure enough we'll see that it has stopped us on this execute method. It's currently showing green. Now I don't have a lot of lines here, so I am going to uh, simply play through. And as soon as I play through, 
then my web page will respond with plain results for Redbud. So we see that it is able to access here uh, the it is able to actually go in and hit this execute method and that's what's returning this text and that text tells us where to go next. Now let's try an experiment let's change it from search to no results and I'll choose save and again I'll make a quick and dirty page here new and then uh, HTML is what HTML is fine try one more time okay and we'll make this one no results dot xhtml and next and finish okay and here we'll just say no results we'll say sorry no results found okay and so we'll save this and we need to go back to our faces config and let's make a new navigation case And control V and we'll say no results and we will change the uh, destination to no results okay and save okay run as a maven build or it's still maven install rather And I'll run this, I'll pause the video for a moment, I'll run this and I'll start the server and we'll try it out. While the video was paused, I did find one thing I wanted to fix. Uh, I made that quick and dirty page, the no results page, and I didn't put any JSF syntax in it, uh, but it did need a close slash on this meta tag. So with that, and with the server restarted now, I'm going to type any old text, hit submit. It's going to hit our breakpoint once again. I'm going to navigate back to Eclipse, and we see that the uh, breakpoint this time is returning no results. So we're not expecting it to go to the results screen. We're expecting it to go where the navigation rule is telling us to go, and that is to the no results screen, no results xhtml. So let's take a look and see what we have. And sure enough, no results found. So in this video, we see that we can change our navigation Instead of giving it a static string, we can tell it to invoke a specific method on a specific managed bean. In our next video, we're going to look at how we can make this a little more complex and actually uh, make some decision logic where we're looking at what the user typed in, we're deciding what to do with it, and then we're returning a string that's conditional based on what the user entered. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you then.